Well, welcome back. It's time for Sunday Brunch. And joining us this morning is Colin King and Juan Webster from Sagamore Pendry. Thanks, guys, for coming in. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks for having us. This is exciting because you have something launching today. Absolutely. It's the kickoff of our third installment of our Gospel Brunch series. Okay. What does that mean? That means we have included a program that really speaks to the faith-based community. However, we are including everyone. You can come and have an award-winning brunch service. But in, in the meantime, you hear Sound, Sights, DJ High Def, hosted by Erica Johnson. And what we have is choirs, musical ensembles, and a DJ all infused at the same time. This is all while you're eating, while you're yeah, enjoying your brunch. You're, you're being that's, serenaded. That's it. <laughs> which is wonderful. No, it's, like it's, it's something very unique, but brunch is a thing now. We just wanted to level it up and get people to come down and enjoy Sunday with us. How about that? All right, I'm loving it. We're going to talk more about that in just a sure. second. But um, Chef Colin, what are you making over there? Sure. Today, um, we're going to do two different types of um, Eggs Benedict that okay. we offer on a regular brunch menu, but then we also feature for our Sunday brunch. Um, so we do more of a traditional style Benedict that's going to have uh, English muffin, mm -hmm. a little bit of prosciutto, some oven roasted tomatoes. We finish with our um, local heirloom eggs, hollandaise, and a little bit of Calabrian and chili oil. And then we have our more Maryland driven version that's going to have our crab cake, same eggs, hollandaise, then obviously finish with Old Bay. Okay, we can't let you continue without talking <laughs> though about these eggs. They're gorgeous and you did not dye those eggs. This we is did not. how they came out of the yep. chicken. So uh, it all starts with happy chickens, make happy eggs, makes okay. delicious like brunch. Um, and if you can see even inside here, the, the color of the yolk has that really rich orange color. Oh, um, that just lets you know that the chicken had a great diet, had a, okay. um, was living a great life, and it's offering us some excellent eggs. Okay, so you've got it in the water doing its thing yep. there. And you didn't, you didn't create the little siphon. You, you didn't need to. You know exactly nope. what you're doing. Nope. I have we, to uh, siphon it. We okay. treat these eggs a little bit ahead of time, so mm -hmm. we kind of set the proteins. So then they drop in, it's a little bit faster for us. Okay. Um, then we can take our English muffin, mm -hmm. nicely toasted here. Lovely. We've got our beautiful crab cakes, mm -hmm. and these are also the crab cakes that we serve in the restaurant um, for regular dinner service. So this is what the normal portion size is gonna look like? Correct. Okay. And oops, so then we'll grab our prosciutto. All right. And this menu, uh, beyond this, there's, there's a great southern theme to the menu, which was really great uh, to put together with the entire team from the kitchen. Ooh, what do you have uh, on the menu? We've got things from fried chicken to collard greens, mac and cheese. Mm. Um, and I am food. originally Yes, exactly. I'm originally from Connecticut, so I really had to lean on my team uh, that's locally from here and all throughout um, the southern United States to really teach me how to do a lot of these things. So it's a lot of fun to kind of go upstairs and, and work on collard greens and go downstairs and the roles are really reversed in that situation where I'm like, oh, Chef Dash, Chef Lamar, is this mm -hmm. exactly how I'm supposed to cook these collard greens? Because it's something well, that I'm learning. Um, and and how guys, humble of you to, to know that you are still learning a, a lot about even different yeah, cuisines, which I mean, it's the greatest amazing. part about being in the kitchen is that we get yeah. to share each other's sure. stories, where we're from, our history. And experiment. Exactly. Which is honestly what got you going with the Gospel Brunch as well. Is, Absolutely. Is you wanted a sense of community to bring people in. And yeah. it was launched during the pandemic when people felt so isolated. They did. No, something about bringing people together, the sense of gathering. And then when you have music, a little bit of soul added to it, and then the history of just the gospel piece where there's there's a faith element on a Sunday. It's just a good vibe altogether. That's how we came up with it and uh, it, it took off. You know, we, we are inviting several people from the entire region nice. and we're seeing and local artists too. Local that are artists are performing. In. That's what we love to highlight Baltimore's best and greatest that, that perform on, on major stages and some folks are, are, are like Prince when they come back each and every time. Well, I cannot imagine that people are sitting there just prim and properly eating their brunch and not really <laughs> getting into the music. Sure. I imagine there's laughter, there's, there's dancing, laughter, there's dancing, celebration, yes, birthdays. Yes, participating in all Absolutely. of this. This is great. Beautiful hollandaise mm -hmm. sauce. Thank you. Absolutely Thank gorgeous. You. All right, tell us what else is on the menu because I, I'm only, I'm guessing here, but I'm guessing if you've got a southern flair, I would think maybe Shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits, 100%. 100%. Uh, that's a good guess, right? right? Yes. We do a New Orleans style, uh, like Meyer lemon barbecue sauce with that. So that's Ooh. kind of a, a fun fusion thing that we did. Um, gosh, what else? There's we do like a hometown fry with fried oysters and eggs and potatoes and hash. This whole situation. Yeah. Oh, there's amazing. a lot of fun things. Yeah. So we do a uh, we carve a prime rib every Sunday, mm -hmm. and then we also um, have like an oyster shucking station. So people that are into that, uh, yeah. which we actually go through a lot of oysters on these Sundays. Which I is bet you do. do. Do you have to have reservations or can you just show up? Both. Both? Yeah. Reservations okay. are encouraged, but you can't show up. And All then right. we don't ask you to leave because you're welcome to stay overnight. 
Oh, that's it's the beauty of the hotel. There's the hotel there too, so you can just keep the party going keep the all party night long. Going. We have awesome packages that allow you to do so. All right, remind people where you're located. Sagamore, Pingy, Baltimore, 1715 Thames Street, in okay. the heart of Fells Point. Very atmospheric. Thank you so much for coming in.